Hi, I'm Rob Belchinis from Los Angeles, California. You may also know me as Rob the Balloon Guy, but that's just my name. Don't actually rob me. You've just learned how to make a turtle backpack in Balloon Magic the Magazine, and now we're going to learn how to make this flower backpack. Let's get started. To create the flower backpack, you're going to need one lime green 260Q, two orange 260Qs, 12 rose 6 inch quick links, two goldenrod 6 inch quick links, six 6 inch rose geo blossoms, and six rose 5 inch rounds. So to begin, you're going to take your 12 rows, 6 inch quick links, and inflate them to 5 inches. You're going to tie these in pairs. So you can go ahead and tie one, inflate the second one, and tie that directly to the nozzle of the first one. If you have time, you can cut off the nozzles to make the design a bit more neat. So you're going to do that to all of your quick links. So you should have six pairs. You're going to take three of the pairs and tie them together. So take the tips of the quick links, tie a knot, and then trim off the extra. Repeat once more. And finally, once you have six quick links in the chain, you're going to tie those into a loop. Like so. Next, you're going to take your five inch round rows. You're going to inflate them to three inches, or about seven centimeters, depending on what part of the world you live in and you're gonna cut off the nozzle. You're gonna take these and twist them in half. So you're gonna take them with the nozzle in the center, or the knot in the center, and twist them into two equal sized bubbles. You're gonna take this and place it into the intersection of a couple of the quick links. Twist it a couple of times so that it's secure, and you're going to repeat that with all of the intersections. So when you're done, you'll have a loop of six quick links with a five inch round at each of the intersections. You're gonna set that aside, and now we're gonna make the center of the flower. You're gonna take two more quick links, and you're gonna take a geo blossom. You're gonna turn this inside out. So just push your fingers into the nozzle, and with your thumbs, you're going to press the rest of the balloon through, turning it inside out. You can stretch out the ends there to create kind of this flattened off geo shape. You're then going to inflate it so that three of the lobes are inflated. You can see Sometimes it'll go to one side or the other, but if that happens, you can just squeeze the air so that it becomes even, just like so. You're going to take that and tie it to one of the tips of the quick links. And trim off the nozzles, and you're going to do that with the remaining pairs of quick links and the remaining blossoms.
So you should have a total of three of these configurations. Once you have all three, you're gonna take them and twist them all together in the center of the quick links. So you can just throw those all together, give it a twist, and come up with this weird pink conglomeration of balloons. You can set that aside for now. And now you're gonna make the center of the flower. So take your 260 oranges, you're going to inflate them about one and a half inches. And you're gonna take the tip of it and just give it a little bit of a stretch. This will weaken the latex at the end so that when you take the bubble and squeeze it, hopefully, it should go all the way to the end. You can also pinch it right at the base there and press your hand against it, further stretching out the balloon so that the air will want to stay inside of there. Do this with the other 260, and then about three or four inches from the nozzle end, you're going to take both of them, tie them together, and then you're going to trim off the remainder so that you have these weird little antenna things. Now you're going to take your goldenrod six inch quick links, inflate them to exactly three and three quarters inches. If you inflate them any more or any less, it's not going to work. Or it will. Whatever you want to do. You're going to take, make sure to tie them close to the nozzle so that you have some area here that you can squeeze the balloon and the air will enter it. So squeeze it right up to the knot there. Take your little antennas that you made and you're going to push both of those knots through the balloon and pinch it off at the other side. So just push those through. You're going to grab them right at the tip of the quick link. You're going to give it a couple of twists. And since I'm right-handed, I'm going to grab it, that knot, right there with my left hand. You're going to pull the tip of the quick link, and you're going to wrap it around two of your fingers. And then you're going to wrap it around once, twice, around the knot. And then with your other, the two fingers, you're going to Kind of pinch the tip of the quick link and pull it through, creating a knot, and that will completely secure the knots to the end of the quick link. You're going to do that again with your other quick link, except this time you're not going to insert any 260s. So once again, you're going to squeeze the air down to the knot, you're going to push the knot through the quick link. You're gonna pinch off the knot and you're gonna give it a couple of twists. Uh, gonna change hands. And then you're gonna take the tip of the quick link, wrap it around two of your fingers, and then wrap it once, twice around the knot. You're gonna pinch it with your two fingers and pull it through. and wrapping it around the knot twice will make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So now you're going to take the two tips of the goldenrod quick links and you're going to tie those together as tight as you can. You can double knot it for extra security. So that you have this. You're going to take the center of the flower and merge it with this weird cluster of balloons. You're going to put it right into the intersection of all the quick links. Which sometimes takes a bit of wrestling. 
But once you got it, you can go and take a couple of the quick links and twist them around so that locks it into the center. And the pressure from the goldenrod quick links should make sure that all the six inch rose quick links are all splayed out nice and even. To complete the flower part, you're gonna take the ring of quick links and you're going to twist the intersection of the geo blossom and the quick links to the five inch rounds that you have here. So, you're gonna wrap the blossom around once and you're gonna continue around the circle doing the exact same thing. Just wrap the geo blossom right around the five inch rounds. Right now, you can see that the center is kind of pushing out, so you can kind of adjust the bubbles so that it lays relatively flat. Like so. Now just to complete the backpack, you're gonna to need to add on the arm straps. So you're gonna take your lime green 260Q and you're gonna inflate it, leaving about a half inch of tail and then you're gonna give it a stretch all the way to the end. There it is. And doing this will give you extra length. Now you're gonna take the balloon, fold it in half, and then twist that in half. You're gonna to go to the back of your flower and pick any random point, and you're gonna twist the 260 around the five inch rounds. And then you're going to come down one, two uh, intersections, and you're gonna take the tip of the 260 and wrap it around the round. and you're gonna place the 260 facing up. You're gonna do that again on the other side. Come down one, two of those intersections. Take the end of the 260 and wrap it around. Just like that. So you have the arm straps coming up from the bottom and on top, they're coming out top of the five inch round. Now finally, just go around and make sure that all the geo blossoms are positioned correctly. All out nice and straight. Aha, so that is your completed flower backpack. To put it on, you just put one arm through one of the straps, put your other arm through the other. Pretty much exactly like any backpack that you find. Um, if you are not a small child like myself, you might need two lime green 260s to make the arm straps, but otherwise you're good to go. You can see more of my designs featuring Qualitex balloons in Balloon Magic the magazine. Or you can check out my website, robtheballoonguy.com. A flower backpack? Create it with Qualitex.